Hello everybody, welcome back to Sin City Living. Jason here bringing you today's episode. And uh, once again, I've got an email that was sent to me that with the strategy that I want to feature for you guys. Guys, please email us strategies, suggestions, questions, anything you would like to see us feature on a video. We're more than happy to do that. It's actually our favorite thing to film and I'm not gonna film too many things outside of that because we've pretty much run the entire gamut. Mostly we're doing, doing repeaters, so a lot of times that's why I'm posting the greatest hits and stuff like that because we've pretty much shown almost every variation. So, uh, and I'll keep doing stuff for, uh, for dealers, of course. So this strategy comes from Eric. And Eric has an interesting, uh, he calls it the poor man's power press and it's, it's interesting. It is definitely interesting. Like any strategy, it is looking for repeaters. All strategies are looking for repeaters. They're looking for numbers to roll multiple, multiple times. That's how you make your money. Um, but he has an interesting way of doing it. So doesn't matter what the point may be. We're going to assume we're on a $15 minimum bet table, okay? $15 minimum bet table. So he's going to be the inside at table minimum. Now, anything that hits power presses. Anything that hits power presses. So, if a five or a nine hits, you're just gonna go all the way up to 36. <clears throat> if a six or eight hits, that's a little bit different. This is where you need to decide what you wanna do, okay? Because you are going to have, you're gonna have $39. Generally speaking, we would suggest throwing in $3. For a power press, suggest throwing in $3, take you up to 42. However, you can throw in more, bring yourself up to 48. Some people are even gonna bring themselves up to 60. But we would suggest throwing in $3, take yourself all the way up to 42. So after it hits, take yourself up to 42. Now, this is where he does point out that the worst case scenario for this strategy would be for the inside numbers to all roll one time and then a seven out. That, that, that would hurt, that would definitely hurt. Uh, you'd be in $72. If you did it this way, you'd have 42 each on the six and eight and 36 each on the five and nine. But instead, we'll remain positive and we'll hope that something is going to hit. So the first time you get a repeater, here would be 50 bucks. Over here, you'd have to throw in a dollar for your $50. But either way, you're gonna, you're gonna collect roughly $50. If you're playing on a, on a higher limit table, then your power press would have gone higher, so you know, you're gonna collect a little bit more. But on a $15 minimum bet table, this is what you would do. So, you know, it doesn't quite bring you up to even, but it brings you pretty close. You've collected 50 bucks, so you're not as invested in the hand. Now, the second time you get a repeater, he likes to take the four and 10. After that, he just goes to the standard mid press. So, Let's say, the, uh, let's say the nine hit once, you got 50 bucks, some other things hit, maybe an 11, then your eight, which is why it's pressed, then another nine hit. So you took the four and 10, all right? Now let's say, oh, I don't know, let's say a six hit. So you throw in your, you throw in your three bucks. You bring yourself up to 42, and lo and behold, another nine hits. Like he says, this is the point where he brings himself to the mid-press strategy. So instead of power pressing, which we stack it all up, he's gonna collect that $36, he's gonna go up to 50. And from there, 50, depending on which method of the, of the mid-press he uses, most likely 50 is going to go to 75 and collect 45. Then the next time it hits, 50 is going to go up there. 75 is going to go up to 125 and he's going to collect up his, his 55 bucks. And then the next time around, it's probably going to go to 200, collect the black. And then from here, you may actually start going back into something a little bit closer to a power press. You might go or stay with a mid press to go from 200 to say 350, 250 or 350, then 500. Once you can get yourself to 500, then you just go to a standard press. 500, 1,000, 2,000, until you hit table max, whatever it may be. Okay. Now, if you're at the, the $1,000 mark, then you hit the $2,000 mark. And if you're on a, a, a $5,000 table max bet, when you get paid that 2,800 on a $2,000, payout, at that point you've collected quite a bit. You actually might want to think about throwing in the, uh, the extra 200 bucks just to bring yourself up to 5,000. Might, might as well, you're that close, might as well do it. Now, with the six and eight, again, you know, should the third hit 
of it occur on one of those, and you would you first you would say bet, then you go to the four and ten. But let's say we've already gotten the four and ten off of our nine. So now the eight hits again. So the eight hits again, so we're going again to a mid press, so we're gonna take it up to 60. We're gonna collect up that $31. And then from there, again, we're mid-pressing. So we're going to take the 60 up to 90. We're going to collect $40. And then the 90, take it up to 150, collect 45. Now there you could actually take it up to 120 if you like and collect 75. But I prefer this one where you take it up to 150. So then from 150, here you've got a couple different areas you can go. If you're sticking, if you're diehard sticking with a mid-press, you'll get paid 200 for a quarter. Throw in 10 bucks, go to 210. Collect the 125 there. You're really collecting 150. Or you can go all the way up to 300. Entirely up to you. Just like the five and nine where your goal is to get to 500, with the six and eight your goal is to get to 300. Because from 300 is you just press. 300 to 600 to 1200 to 2400 to 4800, so on and so forth. Again, if you're on a $5,000 minimum bet table, you might want to think about when you're at your $2,400 mark, think about what it may take for you to get to, uh, to 5400. But up to you, up to you how you want to do, do that. From 210, you, as we've talked about in the past, have quite a few options, quite a few options. It pays 245, okay, but you can pay 250 for five. At this point, take it up to three, and there you go. Just press, 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 press. Right, so it's interesting, I, I do like this, the, the poor man's power press, I, I, I do like it. Um, starting out just with the inside and going with the power press and using it to expand out. It's a, uh, it's a good way. It's a good way. It puts you, you know, a couple beats behind someone that's going for the gusto from the get-go. But overall, I like it. It's a strong strategy. It's a viable strategy. It's not wasting time. It's not trying to do various hedges and, and, and safeties. It's just, it's just going for it, but going for it at a slightly cheaper way so that you don't impact your bankrolls much. So, yeah, I like it. I, I, I definitely like it. I would play a strategy like this. Uh, in fact, I might try it out sometime. Um, those of you guys that are playing the online casino that uh, we have the link for down, down below. Lower limits, you can give this one a try by all means. Let me know how it goes. And uh, otherwise, we will catch you guys next time. Thank you very much for sending this to us. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye now.